it's not quite a nor'easter, but the rain's coming down pretty good here at Fenway Park in Boston. Rick Porcello will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's getting... Matt. Close to 200 innings, so I want to see what's his stuff look like. Because when you get to that 200 barrier, that's when guys start to have fatigue set in. The stuff's not as electric. The fastball doesn't explode. The breaking ball doesn't snap. He's moving to that range now, so I'm curious to watch him throw in this game. And Harold, as we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Matt, you know what I find interesting about this team and watching this game today? They are really playing strong baseball. They're playing good down the stretch. And that, to me, is all about that front office and the manager. They haven't quit. They've got plans in the future. And this looks like a club that you look at and you say, look out for them next year. May not get there this year, but next year they will. A bullet to first base. But the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. With that, here's how the... Well, this is the new model of teams that we see. The strikeout doesn't matter. They're in the top third in the league in strikeouts, so we're going to see a lot of swings and misses today. But if they catch one, look out. Eddie Hawk will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit by pitch. The batter, right in is Jorge Soler. Jorge. 0 for 1 here in the Soler. early going. Hit sharply on the ground. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. I like the pitch. He goes to the slider. It's his out pitch. He just didn't put it where he needed to. It's just too hittable with two strikes. Now batting. Catcher. Blake Schweighart. Has a look. Now the pitch. He got Get him. Up. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Pedroia. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Jackie Bradley Jr. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Oh, and it misses ball four. And that will force home a run. Well, that's just not a good one. Riding in once again, Eddie Hawk comes into this Eddie. at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Piedra on the move. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Ready for another chance. Eddie Hawk, 0 for 2 on his Eddie. line thus far. First offering on its way. A fastball that just misses inside. That pitch right there. He's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. And he misses again, 2-0. Oh. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2-0 oh to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off-speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off-speed stuff. Here's a look over to first and the runner back safely. 4-3 our score here as we play inning number six. Ball three. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box. But the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Now a swing and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. 
And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Ready for another shot now. Eddie Up next for the Hawk. Red Sox. The shortstop, Eddie Hawk. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a knee-high fastball. That's a big pitch right there. Now he's got him 0-1. And, and he still may not be comfortable. Even 0-1, he's still a pretty good hitter when he's down the count. This is a big pitch oh. right here. 1-1. One one. Seven runs on 12 hits. And no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Off-speed pitch one. in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Here it is on 3 and 1. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Into the windup. Ready with the payoff pitch. And another foul ball. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Always nice to get the first game of the series but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. And tonight's final seven to three Boston set the pace in the division with ninety nine wins. They left fourteen minutes. Now from Fenway Park here in Boston, it's the penultimate game of the year. Digging in the switch hitter, Eddie Hawk. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. First delivery to him on the way. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. And Harold, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing well, winners of five straight prior to that game. Yeah, Matt, you know what I find interesting about this team and watching this game today? They are really playing strong baseball. They're playing good down the stretch. And that, to me, is all about that front office and the manager. They haven't quit. They've got plans in the future. And this looks like a club you look at and you say, look out for them next year. May not get there this year, but next year they will. Here's the one and two delivery. And this is fouled back and out of play. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. And he chased it in the dirt. Susak corrals it, and the throw to first is there to record the second out. With that, here's how the hometown key to me is, is driving in runs. Their runners in scoring position, they've been really struggling. I mean, you don't have to hit home runs, but pick up that runner that's at third base with less than two outs. Hit the ground ball and drive him in. Just the little things, and as they continue to add on, inning by inning, before you know it, you put together a good game. That's what they got to do. As a look, now the pitch. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Souza going back. It bangs off the billboard and it's out of here. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Home run number 72 for him on the season as the Red Sox have moved out three to nothing. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot. Digging in and looking for more, for Eddie 
Hawk right comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. The cutter runs outside, ball one. One and oh pitch on the way. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Out of here. A solo shot, and they add another. A solo shot down the line in right. His second of the game as they pile on. It's now six to nothing. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no. So stepping well, in, Eddie Hawk oh, comes in two for three. Hey. With a couple of home oh. runs thus far on his line. Here comes the first pitch. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control the at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Hey, that's a good pitch right there. But, you know, as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet, so he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. Let's go. Wait for the pitch. Hard liner to center field. Kiermaier is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire. The train just keeps rolling down the track. That's win number 100 on the season. And they've got as good a chance as anybody the to win the whole thing. You better watch out for these guys. 7-2 to two, the final Seven score this afternoon. Boston. One Sunday afternoon baseball on the show as we welcome you inside Fenway Park. Digging in now, Eddie Hawk. He begins playing this. This one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. And Harold, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Yeah, Matt, they've been a little up and down on this road trip, a little inconsistent, but two and two is not bad, better than being 0 and 4. They win this game today, though, and it really kind of turns the tide for them a bit. Here's the one and one pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. None out, runners at first and second. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. All even at two and two. Here it is. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. He's set. Here's the two two. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox. Digging in to try it again. Eddie Hawk. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two.
in the dirt but swung on and missed. And he makes the throw to first. Hawk is retired and there's one away. Ready once again, Eddie Hawk. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1-0. That misses 2 and 0. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's got himself into a good hitter's count. And here's a fastball for a strike. 2 and 1 now. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. And the pitch on 2 and 1. And this is going to be a foul ball. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Now a flare out to left center. Jolly ranging into the outfield. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So no runs here. Into the box, Eddie Hawk. 0 for 3, three to this right point. Side. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. The pitch. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. A changeup that just nips the outside of the zone. I like what I'm seeing right now. In, in, and then goes away. If you pound him in early, it opens up the outside half of the plate. And that's what he's doing right now. Hit on the ground out to short. On to first. And that is a big out to lead off the home seven. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Eddie Hawk. Looking. To change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball 1. 1 and 0. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. A changeup over the inside corner. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two swing and a little tapper. And with his speed forget it. It's an infield single. Well that's called smelling the base hit right there. He beats out an infield single. Not everybody hustles out of the box but he darn now sure knew he better and he did. Right fielder Jorge Soler. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And it's off the green monster. Hawk rounds third and is digging for the plate. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. It's a 7-2 ball game. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home.